The steps outlined in this video can be carried out on the following controller types. Controllers require firmware 6.9.0 or later. If your system does not have any other TLS 1.3 clusters online, ensure the required network ports are opened. Complete the following steps. Ensure all the iStar controllers in the cluster you're working on are online and accessible through the iStar webpage. Before making any changes to the iStar, ensure you're able to access the iStar and login. If you're unable to log in, you can update the iStar password. An administration workstation. Complete the following steps for every controller in the cluster. Edit the controller. Click Set Password. Set a password for the controller. Click Save and Close. From the Admin Station, ensure all iStar controllers in the cluster you're working on are online and communicating. From the Data Views tab, navigate to Dynamic View. Right-click the dynamic view you want to display, select Pop-up View. Open it in a floating tab. From here you can verify the encryption status and online status of all iStars. If you have objects associated with the controller, right-click the cluster and select Associations. If you have areas listed, record their configurations and remove all access indoors. If you have keypad commands listed, record their configurations. Disable the cluster. Right-click the cluster and select Edit. Clear the Enable checkbox and then click Save and Close. Right-click on the cluster and select Edit. In the Controllers area, remove all iStar controllers from the cluster. Save and Close. Right-click on the cluster and select Edit. Change the encryption setting to Encrypted TLS 1.3 Support and then click Save and Close. Right-click on the cluster and select Edit. In the Controllers area, click Add. Select the iStar controllers to add to the cluster and then click OK. Select the Communications tab. In the controller having primary communications with the host, assign a master iStar controller for the cluster. In the controller having secondary communications with host, select the master iStar controller. To enable the cluster, select the enabled checkbox, click save and close. In your browser, go to the iStar webpage for the iStar controller. Configure the controller to use TLS 1.3 encryption. Repeat this process for each iStar controller in the cluster. The controller will restart and should come back online after some time. Verify that the iStar cluster and iStar controllers are online and are communicating. Reconfigure any iStar areas and keypad commands.